Hey guys, this is episode 23 and we have a ton of repairs to do. For those of you that saw the last horde, you know how much damage we have to repair now. I also want to move my spikes a bit out and better my defenses, because they took those down way too easily. So we just need to do this. I actually thought I had way more iron, but I noticed now that I'm going to run out of iron. Huh. So I'll definitely need to go mining as well, but first I need to work on those defenses. I, don't, I can't handle the hordes if the electric fences keep failing. So I just had to think of what I wanted to say there. You know what, let's just do this. Because now we're wasting the air. So we do this, that's more than enough, and turn on. Okay, that should cover the cement, and now we have all the iron. We just need to put some wood in here so they can actually start cooking. 600 is about 60 minutes, but we'll only go for about 3. 30, not 3. Yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed during the last horde, but it seemed that even the bikers did a ton of damage. That one guy actually destroyed a spike on his own while he was crawling around. And to me, that's a little bit overpowering. I can ex uh, I understand that from the cops and the irradiated, but that was just a normal zombie. This goes to show, the higher the game stage, the more impossible this game gets. After a while, it'll almost be impossible to defend your base because they're just going to wreck it anyways. Okay, that was the last forge. This one doesn't have any. So now we can go back to the base and start some upgrading and repairs. Also, I want to move the flooring out and then... I told you guys last time, I want to move the spikes, uh, the blade traps out a bit. Because every time the cops explode, they take blade traps with them. I actually cringe at the fact that it's going to take a ton of uh, steel and electrical parts just to fix the blade traps you already have. Okay, electrical parts, over here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, this one's undamaged. Mechanical parts. I thought it took electrical parts, or does it take both? Uh, for now, let's just do this. I need to remember I dropped cement in there. Okay, this one was nearly destroyed. These are safe. Well, they should be. There was nothing over here. Okay, now, iron and we have steel on us. I think I'm going to make the wall steel first and then focus on the steel traps. You can hear the blade traps running over there for the screamer zombies. They also want to repair the floor, but I have to drop the steel before I do that, otherwise I'm going to waste steel on the floor. I just look hard. Uh, see, that's what I mean. I didn't even mean to click on the ground. That one is off, missing a blade. Okay, so these over here are safe. We just need to put the wall up and then upgrade the spikes from there. Like I said, oops. I keep running into my own barbed wire. Okay, I need to repair the barbed wire as well, and let's just first do the wall. So, uh, the, since there's no blade traps over here, the zombies are going to run into my base. Okay, now, hold R. This is the copyright. I think so. Wait. R? I can't read that. It's copyrightation. See, it's not copying for me. A lot of uh, people just do that and it copies the block next to it, but for me it doesn't do anything. I don't know if I'm perhaps doing it wrong, or if you guys know, just please uh, let me know down below. Okay, now no dogs or anything should come here before all of this is dry, otherwise it's just going to mess everything up. You okay, put this one in the corner over there. Oops. I keep messing that corner. Okay, before I accidentally keep on clicking. Okay, so this side's fixed. There's no more holes left, right? Okay, and then this side of here. I can just well destroy all of these blocks and replace them as well. It's going to take so, uh, so long to actually repair them. Only one block on this side. Lucky. Okay, so let's quickly do... It doesn't matter if this becomes steel after we upgrade, so it's fine to do it like this. 
To get an idea of the damage, guys, look how long it takes a nail gun to repair this. Now imagine with a claw hammer the slow swing. I can be so lucky I actually found this before the horde. The only reason I'm not destroying them and then just upgrading once is because I want to upgrade them immediately to steel. If I do that now, I first have to wait for the reinforce to dry before I can actually do that, like this. Now I'll have to wait for this to dry before I can make that steel. But basically, the idea is to expand this floor even more. I think another one of these widths, and then the blade traps are going to be on the outer edge. And then just after that will be the uh, slowing down the electrical fence. Um, and then after that, just tons and tons of spikes. Old school defense. Because they weren't taking enough damage. I also need to get enough turrets so they do enough damage per second to take down the cops. If I'm not mistaken, those cops can heal themselves. That's why we were shooting and shooting and shooting and nothing was happening. Because they keep auto healing themselves after each shot. So if you take way too long to do a shot, then you're screwed. At least the ones that aren't damaged will be fast to upgrade with steel. Apparently they made it so that steel is, well you can't say invulnerable, but it's very tough against the cops' explosions. So this will help us out a lot during the hordes. It might seem like, like just one layer, but it's a massive difference between reinforced concrete and steel. I just want to do it at an angle like this, otherwise I'm going to upgrade stuff at the back. I think the rest of the steel I might just put away to upgrade the ones that are drying now. I don't want to waste the steel and then those parts are vulnerable. Let's see how much steel we have left. Quite a bit, but I first want to get these bars before I do the top. So let's just put that in the resources one for now. And also, I said I have to remember that I put the concrete mix over here. Okay, so, just basic upgrades now. And repairs. I actually want to work during the night outside. I just hope that I'm not surprised by zombies. I can be lucky I didn't die during the horde. I came very close. Also, with the steel, guys, I'm just going to... When I upgrade it to steel, I'm going to make sure that I don't repair the steel until it's uh, down to reinforce concrete again. Otherwise, you see how long this takes to repair. Just imagine the steel. Also, I have the auger parts on me, so I want to actually try and make a better blade and then put an auger together. If the auger is here, then we'll have a better chance at digging. Or we'll dig a lot faster, rather. I'm so focused on my upgrades that I'm not even making sense when I'm talking. I apologize for that. This digging is so annoying, but it's the only way to tell if it's already upgraded or not. Where did the wood come from, by the way? There's no wood over here, is there? Okay, so the auger. Let's just see what it needs to make a better auger blade. So we need this one, we need a repair kit and steel. We don't have repair kits, so what do they take? Forged oil, cloth and duct tape. Forged iron. For a moment there I forgot what the last ingredient was. Okay, so I'm actually going to make quite a few of these because we need them during the hordes. And the rest we can just put away for now. Also, there's an airdrop that I want to go to, but for now, I'm first focusing on repairs and upgrades. The bad part is that was also damaged, the iron bars, so I'll have to use quite a bit of forged iron to repair that. We need steel. Okay, let's see what good an auger blade we can make. Or how good an auger. Repair kits. Nope. I thought I was making repair kits on me. Okay, so every 8 seconds we can make a better one. Or oh, unless it just skips all the way to the level you can make, then that would be awesome. Yep, awesome. <laughs> From green to purple. So the rest we can drop for now. Uh, just drop this there. 
And I actually want to go do the spikes outside. Problem is just, I'm not afraid the zombies are going to damage it. Okay, now we need an engine from up top. So we need to swap it out with one of these engines. Yellow will do for now. I don't pick up frames. Wow, look at all the power it used during the night. Also, now that I see this, I need to remember to actually turn off the lights, the spotlights. Because the spotlights take an um, unimaginable amount of power. If I just keep it running like that, it's going to run out. So many of these iron bars are so close to destruction. Guys, if you're laughing in the background, I apologize. It's my br uh, little brother's annoying girlfriend. He's always so damn loud. Okay, so what do we need? I know. <laughs> I wanted to check the crafting menu. Check of yeah. Assemble. Handlebars. Okay. Handlebars. Duct tape, leather, mechanical part, short iron. Okay, so that, I'm guessing, yep, you have to make it over here. I should actually make five of these, so that I can combine them for a better one. Why is it so low? What does this take? Science. Ah, uh, okay. So, let's just make a few then. We actually have quite a few shotgun parts, so I should actually see if I can make more turrets. These I want to sell because you can't use these for the turrets, unfortunately. Okay, cool. 500 quality. So now we have a proper auger. We just need a better engine later. Well, what is that exactly? Auger parts. We need better auger parts. I keep forgetting the name of that. So now we can actually repair this. And it shouldn't lose any quality of the yeah. Let's cancel this. Make more kits. Let's see, did it lose? Nope. Didn't lose any quality. So now we have a blue auger, guys. Awesome. Just want to take this with us. And drop all the unnecessary stuff that might slow us down. At least the defenses are up now, so I shouldn't have to worry about any zombies coming from behind. But I do need to make some more small spikes, so I need wood. This is the only wood we have on us, we need to go chop down more trees. By the way, what level are we? 131, so we should be able to do some more skill purchases. Uh, science first. We can just roll max out science. Uh, or we should go for gunsmithing. Yep, let's go for gunsmithing first. No steel on us, awesome. As these dry, I need to upgrade them to reinforce so I can make them steel sooner. Okay, this is going to bother me until I actually do this, so let's just quickly upgrade these. Because otherwise I'm going to keep picking up frames. So much faster, damn. For a moment there I thought I was being sensed or hunted. Okay, roof done, just like that. Uh, we first need to grab some... Ooh, is this going to cave now? We first need to get some forged iron so we can repair the bars as well. I think it's forged iron that requires... Yep, forged iron. And quite a lot. Need to repair those from the bottom, just need to remember to repair them. Also need to make way more shotgun ammo, because they run out very fast. No cops on this side, awesome. I think they did damage to this side as well, right? I'm going to at least do the, because you, as you guys know, these are pre-recorded episodes now because I'm going on holiday. Uh, but I want to see if I can at least try and do the... Day 42 horde as well, so I'm going to record up to there and hopefully that lasts the whole week that I'm gone. It's a shame that electric fence post trick doesn't work anymore, the one where you can hide the head in the reinforced concrete. If it did, I could use that to better use the electric fence post, because at the moment they're going to get damaged no matter what. Also what I want to do here is I want to put these in the ground as well. So it's going to be double defense in some places, but that, that just has to be like that, because 
they keep on taking down all these the ones that are standing up. So if I put them in the ground, they're more, they're less likely to get damaged. Almost said they're more likely. I'm gonna be screwed if these things start up <laughs> um, as the ward comes by because I'm on them. That's the worst part about these blade traps. They get you when the zombie approaches. So I want to have, I only want that one layer of small spikes over there. And then it's going to be about three or four rows of these log spikes. And then maybe a small spike row again. And then there's going to be blade traps and stuff. I actually want to intermingle the electric fence with the, maybe there's damage somewhere here. Electric fence with the small spikes. If I can merge them somehow, then it'll be uh, do a ton of damage. Slow them down and shock them at the same time. I'm already re uh, dehydrated. Damn it! Why am I struggling to talk so much tonight? I'm so in my own world that I keep forgetting what I want to say. Even though I know what I want to say, I mess it up. Okay, so let's just do this and take this away. That was definitely wood, but where did it come from? Because there's no nothing wood up there. A spike over there and spike over there. Is that all? Come on, stay away from your own spikes. Damn horde. At least most of them are getting killed, so it's fine. Actually double tapped the lady. That was awesome. Don't steal my kill. I want him, I want him. I don't think I got him. Is that all? See, with normal zombies, this defense is more than adequate. Is someone alive over here? Nope, just ragdolling. Okay, so, normal defense, that's covered. But with a cop defense, we need something better. Something that doesn't destroy my old base. Okay, so this we're going to have to pick up anyways and move back. Or I might just put the spikes in between this instead of the barbed wire. Then at least I know where th uh, to step because I keep forgetting about these small pieces of barbed wire. We have a ton of scrap iron so we can make quite a few of these small ones. Don't need to worry about saving resources. Please don't tell me there's a crawler or something because I want to come looting over here. They actually damage the blade traps extremely fast. So I need to help out the blade traps as well. Almost forgot that I have uh, cement mix on me. So I can make even more of the cement mix. I have cement on me, I want to make cement mix. No, drop this. Also, I want to get a design that actually connects these because there's a path here. So zombies tend to run around and through. But I want a design that actually packs it so tightly like these that they can't get through without getting cut. Okay, so the defenses are done. Now we just have to wait till morning. And then we'll be able to actually go and... Oh damn, where can I place this? Over here. Wait till morning for me to be able to go and repair everything and make better designed for the spikes. At least here we don't have to dig, but on this side we're going to have to dig. It's a good thing I didn't upgrade these ramps yet, I think. Yeah, I didn't. So I can just move them back. And then those, I still want to try the 50 pillar, but I think that's not going to work because I think a streamer mentioned he tried that and doesn't work for him as well. So the minibike entrance might be, might be screwed completely, 
But I want to see what happens if I place a door on its side, if you can even do that. Like a prison door or something, just to uh, advance rotate. I can't believe I have so much cement mix. Uh, okay, so let's just see quickly. I want to put a few things away, so I have space to work with. And I definitely need to use all of this for my shotgun shells. But before that, I need to see how many shotgun parts I have, so I can make more. See, now I don't have enough wood, ugh, enough sand. So let's just do this, and then quickly make more. Four thousand four hundred seventy-seven. So it's one one twenty about. Yeah, I forgot. You can't make past a thousand. One one twenty. So that's one twenty-one. And after the 121, I can put 999 in each one. Okay, that should be enough for now. For those of you wondering why I play with drop tool belt on death, it's because I, I don't want to drop all of this. A lot of people drop their backpacks and I don't understand why. Because you have all your important stuff in there. What's the point of going grinding and then someone just steals all your loot? Okay, so all of these are almost gone. Put these away. We do have all the cement picks now and now we can take the steel. I'm actually considering doing... Oh, they're already damage over here. I'm actually considering doing only the first two layers and then the spikes. But then if a cop comes and explodes, he's going to do a ton of damage to the top and it might just cave. So, I'd rather get the whole pillar and know it's safe. Come on, I don't want to get the floor. I'm going to get the spike. I think I'll get the spikes afterwards. Come on, come on, come on. At least we have enough steel for the whole wall, as far as I can tell. Okay, <laughs> I almost ate my words back there. Hopefully with the iron we're cooking up, we'll have enough steel to do all the spikes as well. Then we know this defense is solid for once. And then all of this is still drying for some reason. Okay, so this is for the spikes. I actually want to use that for the blade trap, so I'm not going to use it now. Um... What do you need for blade traps again? Forged iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts. Where are my electrical parts? Don't tell me I've used them all already. No, I just dropped it in the wrong chest. For some reason, when I open a chest, sometimes it closes itself. And the button's not stuck or anything, so it's actually very weird. Twenty one. You know what? I think I'm gonna use the other benches and then I can also check up on the iron. I still wanna increase the size of this hallway, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to that. Okay, so first, blade traps. I think I'm gonna run out of steel first. So I could have made way more if I had more steel. Ooh. Seems I have enough to do four each and then go to back to the other workbench to make the rest. Okay, with all this cement mix, we should be set for now. <laughs> I can't see us using any more than this at the moment. Then again, I might just eat my words. Okay, we have the wood on us, so let's just make the steel. So that's about... 16. Let's do 20 blocks or 24, and it's at least 20 minutes. I wish you could automatically select how much wood goes in instead of just dumping the whole thing or having to click, click, click like this. It would be awesome if you could set the amount of wood you want to use. Okay, and the large last forge. Just quickly do this. And decide the full stack, do it like that, and we're done. So now all the steel's cooking up, we have all the cement mix over here, and we're making a few blade traps over here. So when you come for the steel over here, we can get these blade traps. 
The good about the quality of the nail gun is just after a few repairs up top. So I'll most likely need to repair this one as well. I do have the book, so I think I have a few mini bike or um, mini. I do have the book, and I think I have a few nail gun parts, so I can just as well swap a few out. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna make some more cement mix or concrete mix, and I'm gonna start digging out the terrain around so as far as I want to go with the defenses. And yeah, if you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. If you have any con comments or feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.